Hey guys and welcome. Today's video is for everyone who missed out on season 1 of Battlefield 2042 or on parts of it, so I'll show you what kind of content you can still unlock, where you can find it and how you can unlock it. So season 1 added one new map, one new specialist, two new weapons, a new gadget, two new vehicles and loads of cosmetic items to the game. And while the new map Exposure is automatically available to everyone as part of the rotation in Conquest, Breakthrough and Rush, the other content is not. And there's also a difference between content you can still unlock and content that is not accessible anymore if you missed out on the season. So the content you can still unlock are all gameplay related items like the weapons, the vehicles and of course the specialist, plus some of the player cards that are bound to these gameplay items. So for example the one where you have to do kills with a new marksman rifle. These are still available and can still be unlocked. You can also still buy all of the cosmetic items that were added to the store during Season 1 and even some of the items of the pre-season weeks. But what you can't buy or unlock anymore are all cosmetic items that were part of the Season 1 Battle Pass. These are not part of the item store and also not unlockable in any other way and if you missed out on them, they are gone. But how can you find and unlock the items that are still accessible to you? To find them, you simply need to go over to your collection and then at Specialists you can see Liz. At the Weapon Overview there is the BSVM and the Ghostmaker R10. Over at Gear you can find the Smoke Grenade Launcher and at the Vehicle tab you can see the two Stealth Helicopters. All of these items are greyed out and in the top right corner of your screen you can see so-called Assignments. Short missions that you need to complete in order to unlock the shown item. These assignments can either be completed in any normal multiplayer mode or in portal modes with full XP, but you can also do them in solo modes or even on your own created portal servers. And especially for some missions that might be a bit harder to do if you haven't played the game in a while, this can really come in handy. So for the solo matches you simply choose one of the modes Breakthrough or Conquest and then either go with a random map or choose the one you prefer. Then you will play a match completely against AI. If you should still struggle to complete some of the assignments you can also create your own match in Portal and play against a friend. This will make it much easier to get some missions done. If you don't know how to set up a Portal server just check out the video I did about this in the info box. But now let's take a closer look at the unlock requirements for the different content starting with the specialist Liz. Liz was added as another entry to the engineer class and has a player controlled missile and the ability to see damaged vehicles through walls. She's not one of the best specialists right now cause her missile feels a bit too weak at some point but if you want to go vehicle hunting she's pretty good in combination with C5. To unlock her you need to destroy 3 vehicles with the recallless M5 or the FXM missile launcher and inflict 500 damage on enemy vehicles while on foot. So that's basically the same task for both assignments only that for the first one you need to completely destroy the vehicle while for the second one it's enough to simply deal damage to them. I can recommend to complete both of the assignments with the recallless M5 cause it's very reliable against ground and air vehicles at least if you have a good feel for the speed of the rocket. Plus the recallless is a gadget you will use quite a lot in Battlefield 2042 so you can't start to use it soon enough. The next two items are the new weapons BSVM and Ghostmaker R10 and I'm gonna start with the BSVM. It's in addition to the marksman rifles but it behaves more like an assault rifle especially when you switch it to auto fire. The weapon was heavily nerfed since its release but it's still very good and definitely worth unlocking. To do this you have to perform 60 kills with SMGs from a distance of 25 meters or less and 60 kills with marksman rifles from a distance of 100 meters or more. For the SMG kills I would recommend to use either the PP29 or the K30 cause these are great close combat weapons and with them you will have these 60 kills done in no time and for the marksman rifle kills I can highly recommend the SVK with a long range setup. For the SMGs I've done an updated setup video already so be sure to check this out if you need any help. But for the SVK my last video was a while ago and it's not up to date anymore. So here I can recommend to go with the extended barrel for more range and projectile velocity, the BCG light grip for a higher accuracy when aiming down sights, the high power rounds for even more range and firepower and one of the sniper scopes like the M11 6x. If you don't want to give away your position with a scope clint you can use the target T8 or Raven 4 times instead. And then play it like a sniper rifle. The SVK is not one shot to the head but to the body you only need 2-3 to three bullets on a range of over 100 meters. So it doesn't really matter if you aim for the head or not but with this more hard hitting setup the assignment shouldn't be a problem. 
The other weapon that can be unlocked is the Ghostmaker R10 and that was an entry to the utility weapon category. It's a crossbow with very hard hitting or even explosive bolts and every enemy within 30 meters around you is one shot with it, so definitely a fun weapon to use. To unlock it you need to do 25 headshot kills and 3 takedown kills. The headshot kills can be done with any weapon, it doesn't need to be a sniper or another utility weapon, so they can also be done with assault rifles or marksman rifles, but especially with the high headshot multiplier of the assault rifles they are probably the best weapon type for this assignment. For the takedown kills you need to get behind an enemy and then hold the melee button until the takedown animation starts. If you only poke the enemy with a melee weapon or use those as shield for the kills it won't count here. If you should struggle with this assignment, you can do them against a friend or on a private portal server like I already mentioned before. The new gadget that was added with Season 1 is the Smoke Grenade Launcher and this is especially helpful as attacker in Breakthrough or when you play a lot as support specialists to cover your revives. To unlock it you need to revive 30 teammates while concealed by smoke and do 15 kills and assists with underbarrel grenade launchers. For the revives you and the one you revive need to be inside the smoke but it doesn't matter if you lay the smoke yourself or if it was one of your teammates or even an enemy. The only thing that matters is that the revive is done inside the smoke. But of course it's a lot easier if you can cover your downed teammates in smoke yourself and don't have to rely on a teammate. So I would recommend to take the smoke grenades with you, an ammo crate to fill them up again and maybe the underbarrel smoke launcher that you can equip to a lot of different weapons. Then cover the area around your downed teammates and revive them. For the kills with the underbarrel launchers I would recommend to go with one of the HE launchers since it instantly kills your opponent on impact and it also has enough area damage to kill several opponents at once. The launcher can be equipped to all assault rifles except for the AM40, so no matter which weapons you have unlocked by now there should be one with underbarrel grenade launchers available. I can recommend the SFAR for this assignment cause it only has underbarrel launchers as attachments and several of them, but you also need to be careful with this weapon cause you might run into the ADS bug when getting into a vehicle with it. And then you can't aim down sights anymore when exiting the vehicle. But then again the weapon itself is really good, so if you want to use it and this bug happens a lot to you, check out my video with a little workaround for it. And then the last two items that can be unlocked if you missed season 1 are the two stealth helicopters. I'm not much of a vehicle player, but if you like to use helis on the battlefield, especially attack helis, then you will surely have fun with them. To unlock them you need to inflict 3000 damage with helicopters and do 15 kills and assists or destroy 15 vehicles in one round. And for these two assignments it's important to know that you only have to complete them once to unlock both helicopters, so there's not a set of assignments for each of them. To complete both missions you can either fly a heli yourself, but it's also enough when you only jump in as a gunner. This way the damage, kills and assists will all count. What doesn't count unfortunately, at least not for the first assignment with the damage dealt, is when you are a pilot in a transport heli or simply a passenger. You will still get the assists for the second assignment of course, but the damage won't count because you have to deal it yourself. So being a gunner is the best way to complete both assignments at once. And that's it for today, I hope this video helps you to find and unlock all of the season 1 content you missed and if it does, don't forget to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching, I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.